welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stocks. We'll share reviewing the SPY. Wow, what a show of strength here into the late morning for the SPY. And again, I knew this when I saw this this morning, this was going to be uh, rough going here for the market to continue higher today. Not that it couldn't by the end of the week, but today, based on the gap up. It either had to go immediately, which it didn't do, which we saw right out of the gate, or it was going to take a while. And so it did. It did. I mean, the SPY is actually green. Actually, we got 45 minutes left in the day or thereabouts, and we're going to try to make a brand new all-time high in the market today. Wow. We did an accuse in the gap. The SPY did not. Woo. So I called a bunch of calls yesterday morning before the open in the SPY, in the queues, in Apple, in Disney, in Amazon. Gosh, I think that was everything. Anyways, everything gapped up this morning and, and a lot, a lot, uh, quite frankly. And I really thought that the safe exit, well, the safe exit would have been yesterday, but I really was reading the market would be higher today and gap up today, which it did. Then the, the next conservative exit was this morning out of the gate. And then obviously, if we're still in these, there's plenty of time. So, I mean, who's to say? This looks like it's going to continue and follow through here into the close. The next number is clearly 333. That would be a brand new all-time high here for the SPY. And it just seems like, it really almost seems like there is nothing stopping this market at this point. I mean, when you look at it, Google's reported, Amazon's reported, Facebook's reported, Apple's reported, Netflix has reported, Snap reported, fell today, didn't affect the market, Twitter's tomorrow morning, the banks already reported. I mean, what could mess this up? I don't know. I mean, there still could be volatility going into the market, but the impeachment votes tonight, that could spark a reaction tonight into tomorrow, but... Everybody thinks that Trump's not going to be impeached when the vote comes out. And if that occurs and the market could continue through up until tonight and then Thursday. And actually, maybe that's why we're rallying right now. But they said the vote was 355 or 4, 318. So we're, we're in a bullish market, period, end of story. And if you're shorting things in this market overnight, carrying shorts overnight is what I'm talking about. You better be super duper, super duper, super duper sure that you are in the right stuff to the downside. And, and to be honest, for you, even for day trades. So we did the snap today. I'll do a video on that shortly. But this market is a rocking and a rolling. And we will see where we go. Unemployment data is out Friday. And that is before the market opens. And that will create a reaction as well. Good luck, everyone. We'll see what the rest of the market brings.